hi everyone welcome to most highly requested video on this channel this is the video in which i was going to tell you how to install el capitan on your lenovo y50 so this guide may work for someone may not work for someone because there are different bios settings and bios configuration you just need to follow what i do and you might be able to uh, get your lenovo to work with el capitan successfully as in this video i will going to cover most of the part of installation where i will going to tell you how to configure your bios settings how to create a bootable pen drive and how to configure your clover to make it uh, compatible with windows and mac and this will allow you to boot mac os x el capitan with windows 10 so in this tutorial i'm going to use my newly installed ssd and which is having windows 10 pre-installed and i'm going to use my macbook to create bootable pen drive if you don't have mac you can just follow the video which i am showing right now and you just need to download vmware images and run a virtual machine uh, where you can do all the steps as it is as i did i am doing right now on when on mac to create a bootable pen drive so let's begin with the tutorial so this is the channel which i am talking about the tech review channel uh, he made a lot of bunch of videos on how you can run mac os 6 uh, via virtual machine on your pc after, after you, you successfully run the virtual machine on your pc you just need to follow the guide so first of all i would like to give a thumbs up to tony mac x com where i found this guide this video tutorial will be based on this written guide over here if you are good to follow the tutorial on that side then it is well and good if you a kind of person who don't want to get into some complex code stuff and you don't know how to do that this video is for all of them so this video will be dedicated to those kind of people who is not very keen to look into text and get the things configured correctly so i will going to give you pre-made clover settings and config settings which i did for my laptop and you might be able to boot uh, the same thing on your lenovo y50 as well so everything every link every information will be down in description below so guys if you are watching this video just turn on annotation if if there is some future updates and future updates on links or text or something it will be on annotation of this video uh, first of all you need a pen drive and mac if you have mac then it's well and good if you don't have you can go you still have an option of virtual machine and then download el captain from an app store after that you will find that el captain has been an uh, download it on your application folder once you're done with that you just need to plug in your 8 gb plus pen drive i will recommend 8 gb or 8 gb plus which is 16 gb at least uh, to install the el captain on that pen drive so once you're done with that you just need to plug the pen drive on your mac or your virtual machine if you're having after that you just need to go to terminal and copy the command line uh, which i am doing right now First of all, you first of all you need to write this util list. This will list all the disk which is connected to your Mac or or your virtual machine, and you will find that your pen drive. That in this video, as you can see, that my pen drive is identified as this two. So you just need to copy this command code which is available in the guide on Tony Mac x 86com and you just need to configure this command line according to your hard drive, uh, to your pen drive. So in this, I, as you can see, the code is basically designed for disk one. So I just need to configure it for my pen drive by replacing one by disk two. After that, just need to you just need to copy and paste this command to your terminal, and this will begin with the repartitioning of your pen drive. So go to terminal and copy paste the terminal code which I just created and after that you just see that it will repartition the hard drive accordingly. It will make 200 MBs of EFI partition and another device will be for EL Capitan bootable image. So after that you just need to go to create install media method and copy this code. Just copy and paste this code on your terminal and it will begin with the creation of bootable pen drive process. This will take 30 to 40 minutes if you're having 
USB 2.0 which is recommended in this process it will give a less chance of error so you just need to opt for USB 2 so after that it will going to take some time erasing and all that kind of stuff it will create your bootable pen drive successfully once you're done with this you just need to download the Clover configuration which is Clover files which is down in description below and extract it after that you just need to copy all the content of this extracted file to your Clover partition which you just created via terminal from your pen drive this Clover will uh, configuration which I am providing you will contain all the required drivers which is text files and all the configuration config files and all the drivers of 64 UEFI which will not going to give you any error while booting on your Lenovo Y50 once you're done with the Clover configuration and all that stuff you just need to go to Windows and free up some space for Mac partition where you want to install your EL Capitan on your Lenovo Y50 for that you just need to go to disk management so I just typing the disk format to find the disk management tool as you can see there, there is an option now of creating a format partition which you want after that you can see that my SSD consists of if you partition of 260 MB this is mandatory if you having if you partition of 100 MBs you won't be able to install EL Capitan so once first I got the SSD I got 100 MBs of EFE partition and I wasn't successful uh, for to install EL Capitan so just make sure you have 260 MB of EFE partition if you don't have then let me know in comment below I will going to make a separate tutorial on how you can uh, repartition your whole hard drive and get this 260 MB of a partition once you get that you just need to look over the free space if you don't have you can shrink your main drive and get some free space as in this video I'm having 38 GBs of unallocated space I am going to format it and label it as Mac OS X by clicking just simply simple new power volume and then I will going to click next and in this I will going to label it as Mac OS X after that I just quick format to perform it and once you done you will create you successfully created your Mac OS X drive for EL Capital installation once you're done with that you just need to shut down your PC and uh, plug in your pen drive on your Lenovo Y50 and click on no button this is mandatory for opening the BIOS menu. After that, you just need to go to your BIOS setup and look into configuration which I am doing. In this, you can see that uh, you get to four tabs in which you will have to go to exit and load default settings which is for Windows 64 bit Windows 864 bit after that you just need to go to boot mode and select UEFI and then in security you just need to disable secure boot after you done with that you just need to save changes and hit on the power button to turn off your laptop and again just just press the no button to begin with booting your UEFI pen drive which you plugged in as you can see now it is again booting the over button menu in this you just need to select now boot menu in this you will find your UEFI pen drive as in this you find the EFI USB device I just click on it you will see that Clover will load up and now you have to boot your uh, OS X install from install OS X EL Capitan after that you just need to tap it this process will take a while to load all the files required in this installation process so I'm going to fast forward it for you guys and once you're done with that you will going to find or you may or you may not find a graphic glitch which I find and as the tradition solution I have I just need to press Fn plus F1 which will going to make the display to sleep and after that I hit random keys this will help you to invoke the graphic drivers and this worked flawlessly always for me as I press the Fn plus F1 this will make the split to sleep and then randomly uh, tap on any button and this will bring up your graphic 
and your user interface without any problem. After that, you just need to go to disk utility and begin with formatting your partition, which you free up in your Windows uh, Windows operating system. As you can see, you can find that there is a partition Mac OS X, which we just formatted in Windows Disk Management. After that, you just need to erase it and you just need to take care that it is format as OSX ex extended general after that you just need to click done and close this window after this and go to install OSX and begin with installation of Mac OS X on your Lenovo Y50 this will be lagging uh, a bit but you don't have to worry, worry you have to be patient in this Now you will be greeted with all the tradition installation windows and you just need to continue and agree with all the policies which they are mentioning right there and after that you just need to select your Mac OS X partition which you just formatted and click on install. This process will going to take 20 to 25 or maybe 30 minutes according to your pen drive speed or you can see it works like this way only it shows about 10 minutes but it will take 20 plus minutes so i will going to fast forward it and let the process go further after that after you see that it is going to finish you just need to prepare yourself to press the power button so that you don't boot into windows directly so for that i just place my finger on power button once the installation complete and it restarts you need to power press or press the power button to shut off your lenovo i50 after that you just need to tap on no button and again need to select boot menu in boot menu you have to select if you pen drive again not a windows partition so now boot menu after selecting uefi pen drive which is this one have to now you have to select install the same menu the install os x el capitan one because the installation process has not been completed yet it will going to take again it will going to take 20 more minutes uh, for installation for the installation of this OS on your Lenovo i50 so or you may not find a graphic glitch again but I did find so I did a same process Fn plus F1 to sleep the display and this will invoke the graphics to work properly after that you will see the installation time and remaining time for the process as I did Fn plus F1 and then random key to invoke the graphics you can see now it's going to say that it will going to take about 20 minutes remaining so just fast forward this video and that's the process then after that it will going to restart your Lenovo Y50 and it will directly going to restart on your uh, Windows partition because you haven't configured your Clover to work and to be a default bootloader in, as your Lenovo FD is configured for Windows partition right now so if you want to configure a bootloader you need certain things first of all you need to uh, access your iffy partition which is in your hard drive you just need to run command prom as administrator and di type this part this will open this part utility in command prom you just need to write list disk and select disk 0 which is default disk in your hard drive and then you have to write list volume in this you will find all the partition and you can see that this is 260 MB one which is the EFI partition you just need to uh, select volume one type the select volume one which is your if you partition and then assign letter to it which will make this drive to access to for accessibility after that exit and command the restart your explorer 
explorer.exe so for that you just need to write this command which is task skill slash f slash i am explorer.exe after that you just need to type explorer again to relaunch the explorer.exe after that you will be able to find a drive and windows uh, in main pc but you won't be able to access because i found that the windows 10 explorer is not working properly so to access this file you just need to first of all you just copy all the ify files from your clover partition of your pen drive once you're done with that you just need to go to task manager in this go to file and new run a new task in this you will able to browse your ify partition and as you can see i able to browse now you have to copy all the clover folder uh, from your pen drive into your drive ify folder so just paste all the files after you're done with that you are ready you are good to go and you have to configure your bootloader priority settings for that you just need to install easy uefi which you will find in easyuefi.com and this is very basic simple installation process you guys might not have it. you guys may not having problem in installing such kind of program uh, so once you install that you just need to run the software in this you have to click on add button which is over here and once you click it you just need to click on ify partition and select linux and other os and this you have to write your any name or just mac os x for the bootloader this is a bootloader name after that you have to browse to ify which is in your ify partition of main system on your hard drive and go to clover and select you have to select clover x64 dot efi once you're done with that you just need to move your mac os x to the top and restart your lenovo f50 so right now you can unplug your pen drive and reboot your lenovo f50 and you will find that it will going to reboot your y50 into clover configuration of your uh, which is inside your hard drive now if we partition now so as you can see now we can able to boot clover configuration clover menu through our hard drive now you can boot into your mac os 6 uh, which is available in your hard drive so you successfully install and configure your dual boot system for your lenovo y50 where you can able to boot into windows and mac os x el capitan without any issue so this will take us time and you may find again the graphic glitch which i always do and i always have the solution to invoke the graphics to work properly so no issue in that you just need to tap on f and plus f1 to fix this once you're done with that you will going to get the traditional mac setup so just go through it very fastly so this is all about part one of the series of how to install EL Capital on your Lenovo Y50. So this series won't be too long and won't be in many parts. This will consist of maximum three parts or two parts. In the next part, we're going to tell you how to configure your drivers, sound, graphics, and all the power management stuff, which will make your y50 to work at full pace and full performance so guys this is all about this video thumbs up if you like it thanks for watching